Parts of downtown Dallas are shut down this morning after authorities prevented a potential massacre yesterday. 22 year old Brian Clyde was shot and killed after showing up at the Earl Cavill Federal Building yesterday dressed in full tactical gear as if he was ready for battle. CBS 11's Nicole Jacobs is live outside the courthouse with what we're learning about the suspect. Nicole. Russ, an unimaginable scene unfolded here outside of the courthouse nearly 24 hours ago, and it all started with the sound of gunfire. Holy crap. That is video from Tim Brown. He shot it from his eighth floor apartment window. The man hiding in the corner there, a Dallas Morning News photographer who managed to get this shot of the gunman, Brian Clyde. Clyde was 22 years old and shot to death by federal officers when he opened fire outside of this building. Now the FBI is left to interview his family, witnesses, and anyone who knows anything about Clyde. So far, we've learned he spent a year and a half in the U.S. Army. This morning, Army officials are not commenting on exactly why he was discharged. There's also this trail of cryptic Facebook posts left by the gunman, one where he mentions a storm is coming. His actions yesterday morning left hundreds shaken. So I was kind of like laying down like that, kind of peeking over a little bit with my phone barely up, but he definitely had this planned out. He had a vest on, he had, it looked like camo pants on, he had boots on. I can tell you there is a large perimeter that remains blocked off as this investigation continues. The courthouse here is closed for business and the public, but employees are expected to report. We're live in Dallas. Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News.